Hello there, Diorama Don here once more. Uh, in this video I'd like to show you how I go about making uh, barbed wire. Now there are a number of videos on YouTube showing you how other people make, uh, make their barbed wire, but I, I think this is unique. I don't think there is anyone else making, making barbed wire the same as this. If there is, then I apologise, um, I, but I, I couldn't find a similar similar method. So uh, I will show you how I do it. So I use uh, chicken wire. Uh, that's wire for uh, keeping chickens, really. <laughs> um, easily available, very pliable uh, uh, grid of uh, wire. Um, very useful for, for a, a million things. Uh, DIY shops sell it. Um, sometimes loose or sometimes in a roll uh, but uh, just ordinary everyday common or garden uh, chicken wire so uh, cut a length of the wire uh, double the length of uh, barbed wire that you need so if you need a piece five inches long then uh, cut your barbed wire to, to ten inches then with with a I don't know what's going on outside. With a, um, a small pair of uh, wire cutters, cut each of the sticking out pieces of, uh, like so. If you, if you can look very closely, there is just a little bit sticking out. That's because a pair of pliers like this won't cut right up to the edge of the wire. It will naturally cut so that there is just the slightest burr of a, of a piece, piece of uh, wire cut there. And, and that's about as much as you need. Uh, in 135 scale, that, that's about as long as a, a piece of barb that you need. If that is half a mill, millimetre long, that is still 18 millimetres of a, 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 an 18 millimetre barb. So it's still quite long, even though it, uh, it looks quite short like that. So go all the way along that way and then turn your plier cutters over and then go along doing the same that side. If you've got a decent pair of cutters it does it very very quickly. So then you've got that effect. So actually you've got a wire and the barbs are already fixed to it. Okay. So when you've done that fold the wire in half but when you fold it, don't fold it so that the barb hits the... Hits the I'm trying to explain. Where are we? Don't fold it so that the barbs are the same, like that. Fold it so that they're that way, so they're in, interlocking, if you like. Uh, that distance, then, will give you the, the, a truer distance between barbs on a 135 scale. So as you fold, don't fold it exactly in half, just fold it so that the, uh, the barbs are like that. That's okay. Then what you do, oh, I better do one. So I'll fold this in half. So now we've got the loop here and the two ends here. Hold these two ends in a pair of pliers and a stick there. Now then, <laughs> as you turn, are you going to see that? As you turn, we're going to keep turning, turning, turning. Um, the wire won't want to. It's going to, it's going to, uh, <laughs> It's going to tell you it doesn't want that. 
So you have to be very, very careful that you don't slip or move the, the uh, turning uh, implement, whatever you use. I'm using a barbecue stick here. Make sure that doesn't slip because it will want to unfurl like a, 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 an aircraft propeller. And uh, it's, we're making barbed wire. So <laughs> I've, I've got cuts and holes and bloodletting all over my fingers from uh, experimenting, trying to make this. Uh, so be very, very careful. It will, if, if you take it easy, slowly going around like that and turning and turning and turning, it will eventually twist, twist around. And uh, you see, if, if I let go, that'll, that'll twist around and it will hurt you. <laughs> uh, so when you've twisted the barbs, you will end up with that. Is that going to focus? That's not too bad. It's going to look like that. So you've got plenty of barbs. You've got the, uh, the wire twisted. So it, it's the same uh, principle as, uh, as real barb wire. So that's how I go about doing it. Now the reason I wanted barbed wire was uh, in a previous video I made a watchtower um, and it, it seemed quite popular. There was quite a few people watched the video so uh, because I made the watchtower I wanted to make a, a diorama that included the use of the watchtower. So what I did was make this the watchtower will go on the edge there and then there'll be um, uh, a prisoner of war uh, hut just here so that will be the, the subject of my next uh, diorama but it was the it was the um, barbed wire fencing that I wanted to go all around so uh, as you can see it looks very very effective the uh, concrete posts are just cardboard, three millimeter cardboard stuck together and uh, cut to shape. And they go right down into the uh, styrofoam and glued to the cardboard base. So they're, they're, they're very secure, very firm. Uh, and that's the effect I've got for my barbed wire fence. So I think you'll agree that that's not a bad... Uh, not a bad copy of, of, of some barbed wire. Like I say, if, if there is anyone else making barbed wire or made a video using this same same way, then uh, I, I apologize for, for uh, copying you, but I couldn't find one. So I think this is unique. I don't think anyone else... Straighten that up a bit. I don't think anyone else has uh, made it like this. So there we go. That's my barbed wire. Should you have any questions, then uh, please, by all means, uh, make a comment below. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, um, I know it's been a little bit haphazard, but um, I think you've got the gist of uh, what, 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 I've, uh, what I've been trying to do. Uh, please subscribe. It uh, does help, uh, help things along. And I'll be along in the next video showing you how I complete the... Uh, well, I'm going to call it the um, the Great Escape um, diorama. So that will be in the next video. So until then, uh, happy modelling, and please be careful, <laughs> or at least more careful that look, got a hole in my finger there. Uh, please be careful with it. It is, in, in fact, barbed wire, so it's going to hurt you. <laughs> uh, so uh, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye now.